Hello and welcome to the world of EDC. My name's Jeff and today we're going to be taking my first look or first impressions of the CRKT P-Large or P-Lar Large version. Um, it's been kind of dubbed the P-Large on the YouTube uh, community as far as the people that I watch so that's what I've been calling it is the P-Large. Um, right off the bat if all you need to know is whether or not it's worth it or not I think that this is a home run at this price point for um uh crkt um it's just as good if not better than the original just in a little bit bigger form factor and then obviously the flipper tab um so if that's all you needed to know definitely go ahead and get one especially if you enjoy the regular pilar there's a few things that I dislike about these ones, but I might save those for the review. Um, I am going to definitely review both of these at the exact same time because I've never actually really um, reviewed the Pilar. Um, but since I have this one, I might as well just roll them kind of into the same review. Um, but the few things that I have that I dislike about them are severely outweighed by the experience the ergonomics the feel of these knives in hand it's just a joy to hold it's a joy to use um not suited for every task but no knife is in my opinion i mean maybe there are a few that are cover all bases but for the most part uh most knives have what they're good at and what they're bad at and these knives to me fall into really good edc knives with the exception of their weight especially in the smaller one Obviously, you're getting a little bit more weight in the larger one, but that's obviously to be expected. But for how small these knives are, the only real gripe that I will share in this video is obviously that the weight for their size is kind of a little bit steep. But if you can get past that, I think that you've got a home run EDC knife, especially if you're like me and you like carrying a large and a small knife that are the same, kind of like... The Benchmade Grip and Mini Grip Tillion. Um, or another combo uh, that I have out is obviously the Spyderco Dragonfly and the Delica. Getting two knives that are similar, whether they be the exact same like these two or in kind of like the same line of thinking um, like these two, to me, that's where the sweet spot of carrying is because now I have capabilities of carrying something that's larger that can get pretty much any job done and then a smaller one meant for you know opening boxes and cutting paper blah 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 all the small stuff that we use knives for every day and then I'm capable of doing larger stuff with a big knife so back to the P-Large I think the price with HCR 13 MOV and all that um, if you absolutely hate HCR 13 MOV, obviously wait for a D2 version, which I think they have out now as of recording this. They might have launched it at uh, with D2 from the get-go, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't been up on that kind of uh, stuff lately. Um, and then most of the time with designs like this, most companies will do sprint runs. If I'm not mistaken, they did do some kind of better steel on the regular Pilar. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure somebody did a, like a sprint run with um, maybe an S30V or S35VN or something like that. But if they haven't, I'm sure that they'll be on their way. Don't have any inside knowledge on that, but these are kind of gems where everybody really likes them. And so I can't imagine that they won't happen. If they don't, I mean... D2 and HCR 13, HCR 13 MOV for the prices that you're getting for them is completely worth it because they cover all the bases and they're just a joy to carry, joy to use, minus the weight. Um, so with all that being said, that's my first impression of the P-Large with a bunch of other stuff thrown into it. If you haven't got one uh, yet and you have, like I said, the original, I think that it's a no-brainer. Go ahead and get one. I think that you'll enjoy it just as much as I have so far. And uh, I don't think that uh, anyone could say that this isn't a perfect match for this one. And so that to me is a huge win. It'd be kind of the equivalent of doing something like this 
and then saying, oh, this is the mini with my bug out for, it's just, it really fits. And I know that's a bad example, but sometimes knife companies just really kind of shrink it down just a little bit and it's like, eh. But this one is really a win, especially considering that flipper tab and whatever else. So with all that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.